So whenever we're talking about Nazis in Germany, one has to be relatively careful. As a result, I'm going to start this contribution by saying two things. One, I am a historian of fascism. And two, despite being a non-European person of part Jewish origin, the question of Nazism and of the history of Nazi Germany has confronted me at various points in my life. Um, and that has something to do with both being uh, of part Jewish origin and of being a historian. Now, I like the idea of marking the potential Nazi background or the actual Nazi background of people um, by pointing to the fact that there were certain gains made in the Nazi period by persons of so-called Aryan origin. Um, an anecdote that comes back to me several times is something I would like to probably share here in that context. And it relates to a sort of walking tour I did in the course of my research on Indian exiles in Germany during the period in and around the First World War. And it was noticeable that in the area of Charlottenburg, a number of um, houses had uh, belonged to um, Jewish widows of First World War soldiers and had then been rented on to Indians in the 10s and 20s. And then, of course, a number of these houses had been Aryanized. And that's a nice context for understanding that uh, what seems to be a very settled community of people in Charlottenburg might actually um, not go back quite so far. The other anecdote that probably goes with it quite well is my scrambling up onto a platform in Grunewald thinking I've missed a train and then everybody staring at me because that was the platform from which the trains left carrying cargoes of Jews to Auschwitz. That history is with us all of the time and the people who live in those histories don't get asked about their potential Nazi hintergrund the way people of migrant origin might have pointed to them all the time the question of their migrations hintergrund. But of course, the point of asking whether one had a Nazi hintergrund or not was um, one of the central aspects of the 1968 movement where the generation of 1968 uh, did exactly that. They asked their parents' generation what they were doing at that point in history. And what I would not like to see, in fact, is the idea of mention with Nazi Hintergrund becoming yet another identitarian marker used by uh, persons of color like myself to um, create a counter category to mention with Migrations Hintergrund. And of course, one of the things that has happened in the meantime, in the intervening years since 1968, is that um, the argument from being a political argument has been moved in the direction of being a moral argument. So people are asked to account for and atone for the apparent sins of their ancestors, which is rather than a way to live in modern times, almost a kind of biblical revenge story to curse the children unto the seventh generation or something like that. And I believe that um, we all have a Nazi background in the sense that the history of Nazism and of fascism isn't something that is particularly German. It could be something that uh, relates to all of humanity and we therefore all have a responsibility to remember. So persons of color certainly can't pretend they are not part of this memory.